What's going on YouTube? This is T from Focus Trades and I wanted to talk to you guys today about why you might suck at trading. Now, I don't use that title to be negative, more so just to kind of, you know, grab your awareness. Now, I understand, you know, trading can be a very uh, you know, difficult endeavor. It can be very frustrating. There's all kinds of emotions involved and a lot of people will say that trading stocks can be one of the most difficult things you can put yourself through. And, you know, the favorite quote that everybody likes to toss around is that 90% of traders fail. And that's probably true, but it should be nowhere near that amount. Trading is not that hard. It should not be that difficult. And with the right structure and foundation and understanding of the game in place, trading can be an amazing thing for you. You know, for me, trading's been my passion since I was 14, 15. And, you know, 10 years later now, it's my livelihood. It's all I do to pay the bills. It allows me to live, you know, comfortably. I love this game. But for a lot of people, trading is a negative, brutal, emotional, just ugly endeavor that they attempt. And it doesn't have to be that way. So if you're a trader and you're currently struggling, either you're losing a lot of money, you're not seeing the progress of the kinds of gains you want to, just simply struggling, here's a few reasons why you might suck. The first reason, guys, is a lack of understanding. Our generation, you know, us millennials, we're so just quick to want, want, want. A lot of kids, a lot of people get into trading under the assumption or with the goal of quickly making big money. And they kind of skip over all the important steps that you need to go through to ever reach that point in trading. You know, when you just come out of the gate, off the rip, looking to profit and make big money, you're never going to be a successful trader. Too many traders just simply don't get a true understanding of the game. Putting aside all of these charts, you know, putting aside everything you see here and the colors and all the noise and all that, there's something behind that. You know, this chart here for this particular stock, that represents something. It means something. Behind all of these charts and all of this action, there's a big game going on here. And to achieve success as a trader, it truly starts with a solid understanding of what that game is. And again, most of us or most traders come into this looking at it as, you know, another quick money thing. And you're seeing a lot of that with us millennials, you know, sign up for this course, you know, get involved in this, get involved in that, make quick money every which way online, but that's not trading. You know, it's not trading at all. And it shouldn't be, you know, I'm 25, didn't go to college, didn't have a good experience in high school, you know, not super smart, no great educational background, but through hard work and learning the game and taking my bumps and bruises, trading does amazing things for me. You know, to be able to sit at home and do what you love every day, it should take hard work to get to that point. Can you make crazy money trading stocks and options? Absolutely. In all reality, probably more than you would get paid working for somebody else, unless you're, you know, one of those top individuals. But for me, I wasn't going to make this kind of money doing anything else. And being young and getting involved in trading, it allowed me to have that time and that patience to learn the game. When you have a true understanding of what the stock market is, a true understanding of why stocks go up and down, and just how the market itself works as a whole, it makes it a much easier game to play. So for those of you that are struggling Especially if you're a new trader, chances are that you just never took the time to understand the game. Understand how it is just simply supply and demand. Understand how we as individual traders can take advantage of that. You know, understand the role that we play. So a lack of understanding is usually one of the major reasons that most people struggle with their trading. And then reason number two is a lack of a process. Too many traders, the market will open, they sit down, and they're looking at every different stock they can think of. They're looking at tech stocks, energy. They're going through all kinds of charts. They're going on Twitter. You know, they're texting the group chat. What are we all looking at? There's no process there. You know, that's a bunch of bullshit. If you're, an, if you're a trader, if you trade and you literally, this is your process. You sit down a few minutes before the market opens. You got your corny energy drink. And then you just go on a frantic hunt to find whatever stock everyone else is trading. That's why you suck. 
you're not taking it serious. You don't have a process. You know, I sit down every night before I go to bed. My entire game plan for the next session is on paper. The stocks, the sectors, the setups I want to watch. Where would I get in? Where would I get out? What do I want to see? I got it all on paper in a game plan. That's why I'm able to trade so much better than that 90% because they're just showing up. No game plan. They don't know what they're looking for, what their goal is. You know, they don't know which stocks they're going to focus on. Nothing. That's bullshit. You know, they're treating it like a hobby. They're treating it like an individual who sees the market as a way to make a few quick bucks. I see the market as a way to be worth 50 to $100 million one day. I see the market as a way that I can take care of my family forever. I can have my garage full of the 10 cars I want. I can fly my family wherever the hell they want. I see trading as my way of leaving a legacy for my family to be wealthy forever. That's why I have a process. That's why I approach it like a professional. Ask yourself, if you're a trader, you know, if your Instagram bio says trader, but you're struggling, you're not happy with your results, is trading your livelihood? You know, do you live for this shit? Do you live and breathe it? Do you have a process? Do you know what you're looking for each and every day and just simply show up and execute? 90% of you don't, and that's why 90% of you fail. This game ain't that hard. With a proper understanding and an understanding of the daily process required to find the proper setups, find the best stocks, and put together a game plan to execute, that's how you reach success. It's super simple, but it's just the work that most individuals don't want to do. So that's reason number two. If you have no process to your trading and you're just buying whatever stock is moving, whatever some guy or whatever douchebag is suggesting, you've got no process you're not going to get far. And the third reason is a lack of structure. You need to have, again, this means the world to me. You know, this is my process. This is my structure. You know, none of my trades are random. You know, I don't just simply buy a stock because it's going up or because it's going down. You know, I don't simply buy a stock because it's looking good. I have a structure of exactly what I'm looking for, the timing, what I need to see on the big picture, the smaller time frames. I know exactly where I'll enter a stock. I'll know exactly where I'm going to get out. I have a structure. You know, this all builds upon itself. The reason I'm able to succeed as a trader and still getting better every day, every, you know, day after day, is that I understand the game. I understand why stocks move. I understand that. I have a process. I have a nightly and daily process for identifying where the money in the market is going, which sector, stocks, and groups do I want to watch. Then I have a process for putting that on paper. And thirdly, I have a structure. You know, there's a structure to my trading. It's not random. It's not luck. I'm treating it like a business. In the evening, I review charts and sectors and put together my game plan. In the morning, again, structure. In the morning, I review my game plan. I check a few basic things in the market, kind of reiterate what I'm looking for. That's my structure. As the market opens, I've got my game plan on paper. I'm executing on the setups that I've already written down. That's my structure. After the market closes, I'm sitting down, reviewing my trades. How did I do? Where did I go wrong? Where can I get better? That's structure. You know, that's an individual approaching trading and treating it like a business. You know, I have bills to pay. I'll be sleeping out there if I don't pay my bills. I'm not going to do that through the market by bullshit luck or chasing this guy on Twitter or chasing this hot stock. Understand the game. Have a daily process for identifying the proper opportunities and then have a structure. What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the evening? What do you do after your trades? What are you doing to make sure that you're getting a little bit better day after day after day after day. A lot of you guys just aren't treating your trading like that. Again, the market opens, you're flipping open the platform, you're checking whatever stocks are moving, you're on Twitter, what are your buddies trading, and you're trying to make a quick buck. And that's probably why you suck at trading. With a proper understanding, a solid daily process for finding the proper opportunities, and then a structure in place to get better every day, 
you'd be amazed at how much easier trading can be and how good you could become over time with that all in place. So in the next video, I'm going to discuss kind of fixes and things you can do to improve upon those three problems. And then we'll continue from there because there's a lot more reasons why most people struggle with trading. But if you're young or you're a newer trader just getting into the game, oftentimes those three things are the main reasons for struggles. You never took the time to understand what the hell's going on here behind all these charts. You never took the time to learn a process of how to approach your trading like a pro, you know, like it's your business and you have no structure. You know, you have nothing to help you improve. You have no structure to pinpoint what you're doing good. How can I keep doing that better? You're just treating it like a hobby and you're going to get hobby results. So those are three reasons why you might suck at trading. And together, I'm going to help you improve upon each of those. So hope this video helped, guys. Subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Instagram at Focus Trades. And as always, check us out, focustrades.com, for our trader development group. And I hope this video helped. Stay tuned for the next one.